Hello folks, welcome back to Don A. Mott's. Uh, today, we've got myself, James, and Wendy behind the camera. Next to me, a little bit different than what I've been doing over the last few videos, I've got a Eldis CV80. Uh, so this is the Reaver, so a little bit different than your standard CV80. This is a dealership special, um, and you'll be able to tell that by a couple of bits, and as we go along, I'll point them out. But your main difference is the colour. So as probably a lot of you know, typically CV80 is white. So it makes us unique and stand out and special. Now this is based on the Fiat Ducato. So it's the 2.3 diesel, it's the 140 brake horsepower, and this is the six speed manual. Um, it's a 2021 vehicle, so it's only a few years old, but most importantly, it's only done just over two and a half thousand miles. So I think 2,580, something like that. So it's gosh it's new for argument's sake so coming round, being the cv80 and being the eldest they have underslung gas tank so you have no gas bottles in these it's all lpg filled up from the side and underslung input for your water outside power point and where you connect your power as well toilet and following round <coughs> so we have a rear view camera just on the top there and obviously with this being the Decato and being the panel van, you have the lovely option to have your doors open. <clears throat> and if it is somewhere really special, you can also, and you can do that with both of them. Yeah. I think that's perfect. And I think that's what really makes these vans unique and probably one of their best selling points, if I'm honest, because it's like a window to your view. You know, if you're next to a lovely lake or somewhere really pretty stunning stunning all right so i'm just going to shut those up it is a bit windy all right following round so up top a you've got the pop top which we'll go into a, in a moment but you've got the dometic awning along the side as well with your led strip light which is really bright and then below we've got your habitation step and obviously your main sliding habitation door now these vans, they're four travelling and a four berth as well. So unlike a lot of panel vans when they're four berth and they cram an extra tiny double bed here, which isn't right for anyone, these do it slightly differently. So A, you've got your bed at the back, but you've also got a massive spacious double bed up top. Now I'll show you in a minute how it works because we've tried to be a bit um clever with the video so we can show you in different capacities but there is a ladder that comes down which i'll show you in a minute yeah. but we'll start off with this bit and then we'll go upstairs afterwards so if we look at the cab first and foremost so in here you've got two captain's chairs they both yeah. are spam round at the moment they are again being the special edition it says reaver on here and see different fabric on these and different yeah. colors and that follows all the way through in your cabin you have got satellite navigation connection for your mobile phone via bluetooth air conditioning usb connections cruise control um radio controls um pretty much everything to be fair you'd expect on a normal vehicle you then also have your blinds for your a yeah. side windows and b for your windscreen as well mm -hmm. so they're blackout blinds so coming back so just in front of wendy there you've got your two extra traveling seats they create your dinette area as well. So that the table that you see up at the moment is fully removable. So you can bring that out to give you extra space. You can also, so they've got a drop down pin yeah. just under here. And by doing so, yeah. yeah, it does. It comes and extends out even further. So if the person sat here, you also then have your extra yeah. space. In your kitchen area, so A, you have a pull out on the side just there, which adds a lot of extra space plug socket and then you have these wonderful handy drawers i think they're really they're really good especially if you're doing anything outside yeah. you can quickly get to aspects as well so sink wise got a lovely cover nice deep sink good size to be fair for a van yeah. hot and cold running water and then over to your side you've then got your three gas burners mm -hmm. one larger than the other two and then below you've got your combination. Um, just above me, you've got main control panel, LPG to show you how much you've got in there, 
and your whale heating controls for the blown air heating system. Yeah. We do have cupboards. Oh, thank you, Wendy. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. And then coming further back, another cupboard just in front of where Wendy is there. Yeah. And then to the side down here, we've got one drawer and then one opening flap so you can get underneath for even more storage. Um, a couple more cupboards up here and they're fairly big as well in all honesty yeah, it's quite a bit stored. it is and then back here you've got your fridge with your freezer up top as well Dometic fridge nice and easy to use um, mm -hmm. and then below if i just push up that that's it again it's a wardrobe mm -hmm. space yeah nice and spacious and then we'll have a look actually i think wendy if you come this way yeah. and then if you go into that's it so it is a wet room yeah. and then you've got a lovely large basin looks really modern to be fair and yeah. you've got your cupboards up top as well with your vanity mirrors good size space yeah. now if we come further back again you've got even more oh well, thank you wendy even more cupboards that's for your tv up there yeah. that's for your aerial section and then up there you've also got for your solar panel now don't see many of these with solar no. so it's a nice feature that you've got a Truma solar panel just up top as well so if I close those so just up here you've got so your TV mount mm -hmm. that comes out and extends 12 volt with your aerial and two three pin plug sockets as well then just below here we've got a freestanding table hidden away in there so you haven't got to worry about yeah. carrying anything else now your two sofas here then create a double so you, you could use them as singles but they'll be a bit tight but more than anything you've then got your double so you've got your bed down here and then a bed up top on all your windows you've got blackouts and then you've also got your fly blind on them as well and that's the same as what's behind me it's the same on all of them in all fairness yeah. if they open you'll have your fly blind as well and you can open the rear doors from in here yeah. underneath these you do have a fair bit of space i've done that a bit cack handedly i do apologize we'll just do it like that for the minute yeah. but you can see the amount of space you have yeah. under there a bit less in that one but still a good amount of space as well okay. so now actually sorry wendy turn back around okay. do apologize right. so this is the ladder let's yeah. just put that to one side this is the ladder that's used to get up top now that obviously folds out and goes into a full size ladder. Yeah. You've got to remove your table in the diner area to use this ladder. So for the minute, I'm not going to do it just because we're trying to do this with ease and speeding us. So Wendy's going to put a camera in and show you what's up yeah. top. But it is really simple. It takes, that's it. So it's a, it's a really large space. A, you've got your mattress up there as well. But most important, if you turn round, so albeit you've got your canvas there, you have got two window sections. This whole section can be zipped out, yeah. and then you've got a fly screen there. So if you are somewhere that's really pretty and really gorgeous, you've got a lovely view yeah. out. And then to, to close it, you've got two straps just to the side of Wendy, yeah. one here and one on the other side. Pull those together, and your roof comes down, yeah. and then there's a couple of bits that you've got to do to clip it into place. I think it makes it a really spacious van because obviously like i said earlier a lot of vans of this size they create a double here or it gets in the way of your door which yeah. just isn't practical and isn't ideal whereas if that probably for the maybe limited times you're using it as a four berth or even if you're doing it all the time it gives more options now this is 5.99 meters as well so it's a nice size van and it's like i said it's based on the fiat Ducato, so it's nice and skinny in that respect as well now this will be on our forecourt probably in the next 10-15 minutes after we've done this video these don't hang around for long there's not many on the market so i'd really stress to people if you want one that's nearly new with very low miles but unique and special because of the color this is your van so come and ask myself my name's james i'll be more than happy to help so will all the other guys and girls here if not pop down have a look at it I'll be more than happy to make an appointment for you thanks again see you soon